हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ डॉन्स वर्सेज गैलरी ऑयल पेस्टल सो दिस टमेटो हैज बीन मेड विद डॉन्स ऑयल पेस्टल एंड दिस हैज बीन मेड विद गैलरी ऑयल पेस्टल पर्सनली आई फील द रिजल्ट आर क्वाइट सिमिलर बट आफ्टर वॉचिंग द ट्यूटोरियल लाइक हाउ यू कैन मेक दिस हाइपर रियलिस्टिक टोमेटोज यू कैन गिव योर ओपिनियन इन द कॉमेंट विच वन वॉज बेटर and in this video i will talk about how both of them felt what were the differences that i felt while doing this drawing so this has, both these drawings have been made on the normal cartridge paper which we generally use for hyper realistic drawings okay so without further ado let's get to the tutorial so first of all we are going to draw the basic structure of the tomatoes which is very simple so we are going to skip right into the coloring portion so i'm using orange and in the dom section and flame red in the gallery section so the main thing which i would like to mention is that from the i think from the finished product my opinion is that the both are almost similar but the thing which varies in both the color is the timing and little bit of smoothness be, be, uh, the timing varies mainly because of the smoothness and the blending so the dom's drawing took me more time than the gallery oil pastel drawing and that is mainly because of the heating technique which i skipped so i'm using red in the doms and scarlet in the gallery drawing so because you have to heat the oil pastel in doms to get that uh, you know smoothness and all the timing increases that overall time increases and in the gallery since it is already very soft i did not have to heat it at all and the layering were quite easy so it took lesser time but apart from the blending and uh, uh, creating the overall detailing and structure you can see they are almost similar and always remember i'm using the heating technique with the dom soil pastel so in case you don't know about what is the oil pastel heating technique i will give the link in the i button so you can check it out there so overview is that we just heat the oil pastel in a candle or anything like that we just blow over it and let it cool down a little bit what it does is that it softens the color and helps us in creating layers of colors one over the other so as you can see i have already moved on to the uh, black background in the gallery drawing so i did the background there first and in the doms i did the uh, green sections or the leaf sections first so the blending uh, after heating the oil pastel in the doms the blending was quite similar to the gallery oil pastel but the gallery oil pastel definitely felt smoother and uh, it was very easy to handle i would say and the time taken was actually much lesser than down the dom soil pastel and remember this is uh, being done on the normal cartridge paper okay which we use for realistic and hyper realistic drawings in other papers the results might vary and we will see those in the other drawing tutorials in the upcoming videos but for now we are doing the cartridge paper in this part so i am applying little bit of white out there because we know that we have to you know scratch out little bit of colors to create those detailings so i gave some white first then i am applying some light green you have already seen me do do the outlines a lot of time that's why i did not uh, give so much detailing out there now i'm using dark green 
so see how I've done the background in the gallery section the same way I'll do it in the doms as well so I intentionally kept them side by side so that you can observe both the drawings happening together and you can observe both the textures together so I'm applying dark green out here another thing which was uh, very uh, good in the gallery section gallery drawing was that uh, since the layering of colors are very easy out there so I did not have to use have to use white for the green sections like I did not have to scratch out the sections to bring out the detailings so with the scissors I created those detailings like little bit of scratching and in the gallery section I used some lime green and some dark green over it and that was enough for the detailings so I'm using my extra dark pencil out here to create those border lines and here I'm using some dark green in the gallery drawing so only two colors were used out there and uh, in this section I used actually uh, for the leaves I used actually uh, dark green light green white sap green as well as some black and in the gallery drawing uh, I just used uh, the lime green and dark green and the black pencil was enough for creating the details see uh, I am able to give layers of color one over the another okay in the gallery drawing I am able to give uh, layers of color one over another without even heating and that's why it was uh, very easy to create I would say on other papers like uh, handmade paper or rough paper or coated paper I think both colors will perform in a different way and some might be uh, better than the other that might also happen so we will see those uh, later on in the other parts so now I'm using my Stadler 8B extra dark pencil in both the drawings to create those uh, some of the detailings in the leaves I intentionally kept the drawings only in one camera frame so that you can observe where the both the drawings without any change of perspective or point of view so you will get the detailings uh, perfectly for both the drawings see there also uh, in the gallery section also I'm doing the detailings and uh, in DOM section also I'm doing the detailings at the moment I had to vary the speed in the DOMs according to the gallery because the gallery took lesser time and DOMs took uh, much more time so you can obviously see that the speed of the uh, DOMs drawing is little bit faster some more lime red uh, sorry lime green in the gallery so I was able to adjust some of the things even after I applied the applying the layers so now I'm just going to put in the uh, this is the sap green which I'm using in the DOMS drawing so now I'm just going to give the reflections and with that will be almost the most of the sections will be done so see just observe the white which I'm applying the layering is very good in gallery oil pastel when I applied the white in the DOMS drawing I heated the oil pastel to create uh, to get a better white or darker white
so see I'm creating the reflections in both the drawings I felt they were uh, quite the uh, norms and gallery felt quite similar on this paper on this normal cartridge paper they were quite similar also remember the fact that I haven't heated the gallery oil pastel till now so maybe if I hit them as well I might get some even more better detailing which I still don't know I have to experiment with it and then we'll know what effects it bring out so after applying the colors I went over with uh, another layer of orange and uh, flame red in gallery what happens is that if you apply another layer of orange it will look smooth the texture uh, just imagine the imagine the texture of tomatoes the skin of the tomatoes they are uh, actually they have a smooth surface so if the surface in the drawing doesn't look smooth then it will not look realistic so you have to make sure that the blending is perfect those little lines of colors they shouldn't be uh, visible in a great quantity otherwise it will take you away from the realism and as you can see I have spent lot of time in the reflection section because without a good reflection the drawing will not look realistic enough now you can see I'm creating some of the water drops on the gallery drawing so the one thing which I would say is that uh, you know gallery oil pastel is very soft and uh, so the technique which we use uh, in the water droplets drawing that cannot be used with the gallery oil pastel since it is very soft it won't even if I apply a lot of pressure it won't uh, take away the top layer in a good quantity or it won't uh, you know if I apply the gallery oil pastel with a hard pressure it will only blend in with the top layer rather than take away some of the portions so I use my dom soil pastel to just take away the top layers in both the drawings for doms as well as for gallery since doms is little bit harder so what it does is it takes away the top layer and gives you that uh, actual water droplet effect after that I just put in the reflex, uh, reflections on the water droplets using my empty white pen scratching out just some of the details and then just putting a dot of white for the main reflection and that's it and that's it our drawing is almost finished so friends if you stay till the end thanks a lot it means a lot if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to press the bell notification and share this video as much as you can and uh, comment which one was your favorite the downs one or the gallery one so friends see you in the next video until next time goodbye